So guys, we're a little bit away from the red maple blooming. All of them don't bloom at the same time. We may have some blooming now. There is a little trickle of pollen coming in, but it's nothing phenomenal by any, any stretch of the imagination. So we're out here. Uh, we did see some drones flying today, which is, that's a good sign. So we're just gonna put some uh, more pollen sub on these colonies. That's dried out. We'll come back and clean that up later. They are trying to eat it, uh, which is a good thing. But we just want to make sure they have plenty, plenty of pollen. And if we get a couple days of rain, you don't want that rain where the bees can't fly to set them back any. So we're going to make sure they got some fresh pollen in here. Sometimes these things, man, they get part of the rock. Uh, this colony is over a double screen board for heat. Uh, I actually want to look down in this colony for a second to see if they've got any brood started. They may, they may not. They're, they're fairly small. Ready for it to warm up so these frames will be less stuck. See, there's there's no stores in this comb. They blow, blew through the stores rapidly this season with the fall, warm fall weather we had. So that's why we've got the sugar bricks on them. Yeah, we got a small patch of brood right there. They're keeping warm, um, looking good. Nice little pattern. In between that, there's eggs. So we know the queen's still living. Uh, she hadn't fired up in earnest yet, but I don't, I don't foresee it being too far away. So let's check this other frame. This one's on the outside of the brood nest. This one could be a little, a little more heavily populated with the brood. It's definitely got more bees. There's the queen right there doing her thing. Uh, she may, it looks like this colony is just now starting to fire up and, and start rearing some brood. Like I say, they don't have large numbers, so it's gonna take this colony a, a little while to catch up. There's the brood, there's some larvae. So we gotta get some uh, feed on these bees soon. Uh, we need to get some sugar syrup on these, this colony. They'll brood up a lot better with uh, sugar syrup, in my opinion, than uh, dry sugar. So we're gonna look at the forecast, see when the next stretch of warm weather is going gonna be, and we're gonna definitely get that the, the sugar uh, sugar water on because they're gonna need it. And like I say, our red maples are are about to start blooming, but they hadn't started yet. That would be. And like that heat from that bottom colony is really going to help this colony build up. It's good to see. Good to see the colony starting to starting to become active again. It's a long stretch in the winter. Sometimes you know you go crazy wondering what your bees are doing, and sometimes it's hard to just leave them alone, but. Sometimes it's better to just kind of forget they're out there. Keep a check on their food, but don't be opening them up all the time. And if you've done your job in the in the uh, summer, late summer, early fall, your bees should be okay. Well, this colony's not wanting to, to be fooled with today. They're definitely after my camera guy, Corbin, today, and they're getting into the dead cat and everything, so they're gonna be causing disturbance. I don't know how much we'll be able to get on this. It's kind of windy. But this colony looks good, the, the mother colony. We put some more supplement on them. We're gonna close them back up. They're almost ready for a box, another, another box on top of this colony. You don't wanna give them too much space too soon though. We're, we're still gonna be getting down into the, to the teens some. So you gotta be mindful of that. You don't want them to have too much space, but you also want them to have enough. And here in the next few weeks, early March, we'll be going through equalizing these colonies. So we'll get a good uh, evaluation of them whenever we do that. These colonies are in no mood to be messed with today. I don't know why uh, they're giving our camera a run for its money. They sting that thing to death. They don't like that microphone 
uh, piece that goes over the mic port. Uh, they really can't stand that that thing. This pollen patty's still pretty good, still soft. You can see they're definitely chewing, chewing into it. Uh, we may bring this collie to another uh, sugar brick and get on here just to get on through any periods of bad weather that we encounter. But this colony is typical of what we see in our area. Uh, usually about uh, five frames of bees, but they will explode here in the next couple weeks. And seeing those drones was real encouraging. Uh, maybe we'll get to start rearing queens a little earlier this year than normal. If you can notice this colony, they've ate most of their sugar bricks. Uh, we put two more uh, little pieces of pollen supplement on them. It won't be long now. This colony will be ready to equalize with some of the smaller colonies and we'll add them a box. Um, the drones are present, so it's not going to be long. We'll be raising our, our queens early this year, I think. And Bees know what to do this time of year. They don't need our direction. You can't lead a bee nowhere, but if you try to try to work with the bees and do what they're doing when they want to do it, uh, you'll be a lot more successful than trying to make a bee do something that you want to do it before they're ready to do it. Hey guys, this, uh, this colony here, I know it doesn't look like much, but this is actually a colony that we want to raise queens from, and I'll tell you why. Um, this queen is, this will be her third year, maybe fourth year, can't remember. I think it's third year. Um, I'll have to look, but she has been a phenomenal queen. And we requeened our production colony that she was in and made a nuke out of this colony with her. And there was hardly any resources in the nuke. Uh, and she has built it up decently. She's overwintered well every year. So what I'm doing now is I just want to get down in here. I just want to see if she's got any brood in here before I, you know, decide what I'm going to do with her. But I do believe that she is definitely going to be one of our breeders. Uh, we're looking at, you know, building up our operation to go to the almonds. So we're going to be switching over to more of an Italian stock anyway. And she is an Italian bee for sure. Um, Uh, they're all mutts, really, in the United States, I would say, but she's got a lot of Italian genetics in her. Uh, yeah, she's got some sugar syrup still from, from when we fed them. She doesn't burn through her stores terribly. Um, they just organized the brood nest really well, and I've been really, really happy with this queen. So hopefully we can get some more daughter queens from her this year. Yeah, she's got brood laid already. Um, she's doing a, a decent job. She's not as good as she used to be, I'm sure. There she is with her green dot. So she's a 2019 queen. So this will be her third spring going. Um, and she, she's just always done a great job for us. So we're really excited about this colony. And she is still doing it. She's still, she's got eggs down in here. Young larva, yeah, I'm I'm real happy with that. I was I was hoping this colony would make it through the winter. I didn't want to lose her, but I couldn't risk her dying over the winter with one of our production colonies either. Uh, yeah. Don't go thinking we name our bees or anything like that because we don't we don't give our hives names or anything like that. But she's been special to us and we like her a lot. So that's what we wanted to check on today. We're going to give her all the resources she can take and fire her up. So we can start raising queens off this, this mother here. They look like springs on almost here. Look at this. Look at this colony. These these bees are ready for a super now. Um, we're not going to put one on it just yet because of the cold weather. But we do want to take these bees and equalize. We're going to be equalizing a little early. Like I said, we had to throw pollen supplement on these colonies earlier than normal because they started brood rearing in December. Um, I'm not sure if you can see the drone right here. Um, we've definitely got some drones coming and going. Um, it, it, these bees are promising looking. They look really healthy. Uh, we gave them two oxalic acid treatments this fall, or this winter also, and 
we're excited. I mean, this is what you want to see going into the spring. Getting a colony through the winter is one thing, but having a colony like this that you can work with in the spring is everything whenever you're trying to make bees your business. 